Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 16th of January for the Sun or the Ascendant. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to give you a broad overview of what to expect before diving deep to give you in forensic detail all the key influences for each of the 12 zodiac signs. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me once more. New to my channel? It's great to have you with me and I'd be honoured if you'd subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Now this week is very powerful. The Sun is side by side with Pluto for the whole of this week but across two different zodiac signs and this is very symbolic. Because for the last 15 years, Pluto has been making its way through the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is very much about the established order, big business, big government, big organizations, but big money. Now the sign of Aquarius is much more about the collective, but also individuality. There's a duality in the sign of Aquarius. Pluto is about transformation and because it's getting to the end of its journey in Capricorn, which is going to happen basically in three stages. It will finally move fully into the sign of Aquarius on the 19th of November 2024. But of course it goes there for 11 weeks this year, 38 weeks uh, in the following uh, year. And what we're seeing is a big shift. And that really starts to show itself this week. This is why this week is so potent. And of course, there is then on Saturday, uh, a new moon in the sign of Aquarius, forging a disassociate conjunction with uh, Pluto in Capricorn. But that Plutonian energy can reveal secrets. It's also about deep power that's not necessarily very obvious. It can be about more sinister activities, of course. This week also sees Mercury go direct on Wednesday, Uranus direct on Sunday. But Mercury doesn't emerge from its post-retrograde shadow until the 7th of February. But it does forge a beautiful alliance with the North Node this week, which can be helpful, but a much less helpful one with Mars. Mars now going forwards in the sign of Gemini it's quite an impatient, direct energy when it comes to communication, which Mercury governs. So Mercury in the more business-like sign of Capricorn is just saying in this quincunx with Mars that we need to be very sure that we're not jumping to conclusions, making hasty assumptions, or even expressing ourselves in a rather an impatient way. Also, from the middle of the week to the end of the week, when they become exact, Venus edges into a conjunction with Saturn. Because they're both in the sign of Aquarius, this can be a real test for certain relationships. But for those people who are very committed and very hardworking, Saturn can help to bake in that commitment even more. So it could be a time when some people actually firm up the commitment much more. But the key to this week, of course, Mercury going direct and Uranus going direct is that energy will start to move. And because the sun moves on Friday into the airy sign of Aquarius, I feel that also is going to see lots more information flowing around. So I think that's very welcome. But also we are seeing some very big changes about how we live, how we interact, how we earn money how we relate to power in general. So that's the key background to this week. If you would like to learn more about natal astrology rather than uh, just this zodiac forecast, if you give me three pieces of personal birth data, of time, date, and place of birth, I can produce a 12 month forecast for you that's totally unique to you. But in my special package of 30% off, you'll also get your crucial life roadmap report. This really helps you to understand some of the patterns that you've experienced over and over in your situation. Perhaps some of these 
have been quite challenging, others have given you real opportunities. If you get a more intimate understanding of those, you can steer your moves more successfully going forwards. Now in this special package, you can also get your free 12 month general forecast in terms of your zodiac sign, but also your Chinese forecast and your Indian forecast for year 2023. Please see the link below. So Pisces, your week commencing the 16th of January forecast, sees Mercury go direct in your sector of friendship, social interaction, networking, future plans. If those areas have felt a little bit in a state of flux, a greater sense of clarity can come through, particularly with the Sun combining with Pluto. It may have felt that something was really out of reach, but then you'll realise looking back that actually this was a temporary pause or a pause that was asking you to focus on perhaps different elements of your situation and the things that are really important to you have actually made significant progress. So that's really gratifying. But Mars is in that quincunx with Mercury. So when it comes to um, maybe your family, you could have a different view of how you see things developing to someone close to you who might be the type of person who's not fearful of telling you straight what they think. Or it could be the reverse. Maybe you want to feed your perspective into a friend and maybe they're not so keen to hear it. So even though Mercury goes direct, there is still some tension with Mars. But the move of the sun into your 12th house is really important, as is the new moon, of course, because it's very close, the combination of the moon and the sun, to Pluto right at the end of its journey in Capricorn. I think the kind of friends and the type of people that you're drawn to at the moment are people who you can really absolutely totally trust. That's going to be a big feature of the next month. People who are perhaps more frivolous associations might not be so attractive to you. It doesn't make them bad people. It doesn't mean that the connection with them isn't worth uh, maintaining. But what you're really needing is a deeper connection, a connection with people who understand you at a very profound level. With Venus combining with Saturn from Thursday to the end of the week, reaching the peak as the week draws to a close, if you're not really fulfilled in an existing relationship, but particularly a romantic relationship, this could be a, a, a tiebreaker, to be honest. Especially with Uranus going direct in your sector of everyday thinking, that can you know, get your imagination fired up. Maybe you'll want to get sources of information, um, Maybe you'll just want to have some time just withdrawing somewhat and just reflecting. There's part of you that's quite attracted to that at the best of times. That is definitely going to get stronger as this week draws to a close. But what it can do is help to fortify you in a way. Obviously, there's big changes coming for you with Saturn arriving in your sign on the 7th of March. So this is a period that can be very precious in terms of just thinking through all that's happened in recent times. You know, you could go back a long way, be very nostalgic, or it could be over the last few weeks. The choice is yours. It could be a bit of both. But some kind of analysis around relationships seems inevitable as this week draws to a close. And I think the key that you're looking for is that sense of real connection and meaningfulness and if some other connections are more superficial, I just don't think they're going to appeal to you quite so much uh, for this week and for the next few weeks either. Mm -hmm.